Hello YouTube, I'm Chris, that's the world, stuff's happened, we've juiced it. Coming up this week, is there a new species in your belly button? Crafty coral fights back and a monkey midlife crisis. Let's juice. Well, I never thought I'd share this with a global audience, but um, fluff, obviously, a raisin, a spider, these are just a few things I found in my belly button. But researchers from the North Carolina State University discovered a whole lot more when they delved deep into the navels of some brave volunteers. Back in 2011, ecologist Rob Dunn and his team asked 60 people at a science fair to swab their belly buttons. Then, back in the lab, the team examined their bacterial bounty, and to their surprise, they found a grubby haul of over 2,300 species, with more than 1,400 of them being potentially unknown to science. The team were also startled to find bacteria that are normally at home in ice caps and on thermal vents. One chap even had bacteria in his belly button that is normally only found in soil in Japan. He'd never even been there. But despite the diversity of species, the team found that certain themes emerged, reporting that eight species were present in over 70% of belly buttons. With their findings recently published, the team believe that the bacterial stowaways in our navels may even affect other aspects of our own health. Dunn's lucky team are now probing more than 600 belly buttons, hoping to discover a link between our navel dwellers, where people were born, and the makeup of their immune system. And whilst elbow deep in fluff, the team have also started pilot studies for their next project. Armpit Palooza. No, really, look it up. Next up, coral under attack. Hairy green marine algae is on the rise, and at the same time, some of the world's best-known coral reefs have decreased in size by up to 80%. And while scientists argue as to why this is happening, one small but very important coral has been observed fighting back. Acropora coral comes in many shapes and sizes, and it attracts everything on the reef from fish to further corals. However, it is also one of the first to succumb to environmental stresses, and scientists recently revealed that Acropora nasuta, the staghorn variety, has a nifty trick for protecting itself against the advancing algae. It enlists the help of gobies, small colourful fish which set up home amongst the coral. And when the toxic algae drifts onto the corals, it releases a chemical into the water, which alerts the fish that its home is under attack. And while other fish might simply up sticks and move, green clown gobies turn community police officers, eating the algae away before it can cover the coral. Researchers noted that not only did the gobies' swift response to the chemical cry save the coral and in turn their homes, but the gobies also benefit by becoming more toxic to predators. So, the next time you're presented with some unappealing greens, spare a thought for those toxic algae-eating gobies. And you never know, you may become less palatable yourself. Finally, the midlife crisis. To be honest, I'm quite looking forward to mine. I've already picked out my bright red sports car. And obviously, the, uh, the opposite sex are going to come flooding. It's just coping with those feelings of failure and, and life slowly ebbing away. But scientists recently revealed that a midlife crisis is not just a human invention to indulge in completely impractical transportation. But the apes also experience the same U-shaped curve of happiness often seen in humans. For the study, over 500 chimpanzees and orangutans were observed by teams of researchers. They completed an observational questionnaire. That's the researchers, obviously, not the apes. Scoring them for happiness. The researchers found that well-being in apes was high in youth dipped in midlife and rose again in old age, much like in humans. Psychologist Dr. Weiss from the University of Edinburgh in the UK concluded that for a long time the midlife crisis was thought to be specific to humans, but that to understand this new breakthrough, we need to delve deeper into our evolutionary past and our ancestral links with the great apes. Perhaps while the apes may not lust after the latest convertible, they have slightly less ambitious aspirations. Maybe just a few extra bananas or perhaps some nice bedding for their nest. So that was Earth Juice. If you liked us, go on, click like. Maybe even subscribe. And if you found anything interesting in your belly button, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Earth Juice. See you next time.